Hey everyone, John here from Four Brewers and I'm back with another beer from my cellar. And uh, this beer is a beer that's not so old. This is a Byzantine Vision from um, Bottle Logic Brewing Company out of Anaheim, California. This came out in 2017. This is actually one of their uh, more recent releases from their uh, Stasis project. Um, this is a Baltic Porter, uh, aged in bourbon barrels and finished with wild honey, hazelnuts, pistachios, and walnuts. So this is kind of a nutty beer. Nuts are a weird thing to work with when it comes to beer because they're really oily. So uh, let's see what this beer is like. So Byzantine Vision comes in at 10.7% alcohol. Um, this is on the colder side and uh, it looks really nice in the glass. Got a nice uh, dark brown head on the beer. Um, you know, it's it looks, looks good. Let's see what it smells like. Okay, so the bourbon barrel wood characteristic is really, really huge in this. Like, um, that's what I, I, I feel like I put my nose inside of a used uh, bourbon barrel and that's what this smells like. It's not boozy, but it's woody, it's bourbony, and it smells like awesome. You do get a little bit of a nut characteristic from it, weirdly enough. Um, kind of smells like you're smelling a bag of pistachios too, like pistachio, like pistachios inside of a bourbon barrel, I guess you could say. It's kind of an odd thing that I didn't really expect or, yeah, I didn't really expect to like on this aroma, but it smells good and it, and it works pretty well. It's like a, a nutty, creamy, bourbony, woody thing. So, so far so good. Let's uh, see what it tastes like. Okay. So the taste on this beer is interesting because like I said, this is made with pistachios and walnuts and hazelnuts and wild honey. So you've got like this honey characteristic that definitely comes through, adds a, a nice round sweetness to the beer. Um, the bourbon barrel doesn't come out as much as it does in the aroma, but uh, the, the pistachios especially and the walnuts and uh, I guess hazelnuts too. Maybe that's what I'm getting most of is hazelnuts compared to pistachios and the walnuts. The nuts are coming through uh, in a very big way. Um, again, it's kind of odd, but it's it makes the beer silky and oily and a little refreshing at the same time, even though it's a, a dark stout that is almost 11% alcohol. Um, it comes off kind of light, actually. Uh, and this is... This is around 42 degrees, 45 degrees. It's fairly cold, but no noticeable flaws. I think everything I'm getting from the beer is what they intended to give you in the beer. Um, it's a really interesting beer to say the least. And I'm not sure if this would age well. This is definitely a beer you want to drink fresh, um, especially with all of that fresh bourbon uh, going on and the nuts, I don't even know what the, the nuts would do over time um, in this beer. I'm saying nuts a lot in this video, which I know. But uh, yeah, it's, I don't know what would happen if you were to age this. So I do have a couple bottles left. Definitely gonna age them, see what happens, cause it's not a beer you wanna drink randomly on a Wednesday night, unless you're uh, celebrating Wednesday Whales Day, which you would definitely wanna open this beer. But uh, it's an interesting beer. Uh, if you got your hands on it, if you wanna trade for it, I would definitely, go down that road, uh, it's worth trying. Uh, I don't know if I would spend a lot of money on it or trade big for it, but it's a good beer. It's worth trying at least once. So uh, looking forward to more awesomeness from Bottle Logic. This week is their week of logic, which is a celebration of their anniversary. All week uh, you can go in, check in, and uh, get your book stamped. Um, and you get special stuff and it's it's really awesome so if you don't know about the week of logic um now you do and ask your friends about it because it's awesome so bottle logic congrats on your anniversary and that's one less beer in my cellar